Today is the 30th day of June. And I just have one of those wow feeling. Yesterday after coming from the town meeting in the Friendship Tabernacle. Seems like they were trying to launch the campaign for Denali Penn. And boy, uh, we slow in Abaco. Sometimes I just say, wow. The example of Darren Henfield was right there staring us in the face. One guy got on there and bragged about what all Denali Penn has been doing. Brother, welcome to Abaco. We don't usually brag about what we've been doing. That's finish. You brag about what you're going to do. Uh, because I could give you from Hurricane Floyd. That's 25 years ago. And the donations in the hundreds of thousands. Kai Mills gave over $300,000. She spent under that 47000 that she got from the government. Listen to the numbers. Hurricane Floyd Kai gave over three hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff to the school, fridge, beds, material. I had a group of Barbadians with me. They're so in, they were so impressed with me after Hurricane Dorian. They're on the phone with me for months trying to have me to ask the government to have them come back to the Bahamas to help rebuild. These are Barbadians that remember the good times they had during our sorrow and they were so much involved in the rebuilding of our lives and our homes that they wanted to come back. 25 years later, we're still friends. We still speak to each other. But this government didn't want anybody to come. They wanted us to suffer. And the meeting last night is an indication of how unwise Abaco and Abaconians are. You're going to invite two people that haven't lived in Abaco for decades to be a keynote speaker on something they haven't experienced. They weren't in the hurricane. They don't live amongst the hurricane debris. They came in on the evening flight. I was there. Got their little SD, entourage, and gone. Next morning, they're gone. That is what we have in Darren. 35 years, he did nothing, nothing. All of a sudden, after a hurricane, y'all going to bring people in to campaign in the Friendship Tabernacle and going to tell us how we ought to act and how we should be acting as if she is being through the storm. But it's very clear. A prophet is never except in his hometown. But I believe with all my heart, I'm going out on a limb to ask for support, to support Abaco. See, a vote for Kai is a vote for you. Kai is not going to come on the plane go in the friendship tabernacle, do a big speech, back on the plane. Kai is there for the duration. I didn't become significant after Hurricane Doreen. I have been significant through many hurricanes, about 10 of them. So this is not my first rodeo. So for those of you that think that the two speakers had the answer for Abaco, they don't. The answer staring you right in your face. You may not like the messenger, but I got the message. I got the answer. I live among you. I feel, breathe, see, think what you think. You don't have a great amount of self if you're going to bring somebody else that haven't been through the storm, that haven't lived in Abaco for decades. And going to tell us what we ought to be doing, what we ought to be feeling. And they haven't been through the storm. I was surprised at Tony Davis. Yeah, Tony Davis, you're supposed to be an archer. 
you let the archer name down that you could be ro rolling with that kind of foolishness. You went through the storm. There's a couple of guys got killed in your liquor storm. In the storm. And you're going to come here to roll and try to bring somebody here to run for your own self-gratification. That is why Abaco the way it is now. We have too many selfish, greedy, all for me baby people. It's not about you and your little entourage that went back on the plane to Nassau. It's about all of us collectively. And if we all Abaconians can get together, I'm not talking about somebody that say they're from Abaco, that haven't slept in Abaco in a week, in over 30 years. I'm talking about people that live in Abaco, breed Abaco, went through the storm, still going through a storm called the FNM government. And you want us to go through another storm with somebody who's just going to come here to a meeting, get all pretty up, and go back on the plane? Haven't we had 35 years of Hubert? And it will be five years of Darren. That is the 40 years that God was talking about that Moses was in the wilderness. We have been in the wilderness of North Abaco because the 35 years with Hubert and the five years with Darren, that is the biblical 40 years in the wilderness. Kai Mills is one of those people that come in to bring you out of the wilderness. We and Kai is not going to sit by and let nobody come in here. I'm going to go to Nassau, ride down and have drinks at Olives with Joubert and Darren. And we don't see them for the next five years. Enough of that. Kai is here to stop that kind of bleeding. I told you all during my election, you're going to see more of the back of Darren Henfield than the front. You've seen more of the back of Denley Penn than the front. Kai don't need nobody to come to video and, and, and explain who I am. Somebody want to pull you to the left? Somebody want to pull you to the right? I am going straight and narrow is the way like I've always been doing. When I speak, I speak what God has instilled in Kai. Not this one sending me that one, this one sending me that. I speak what I feel. And I felt that the meeting was a bust last night because respectfully, whatever you may think with Darren Henfield, he is your MP. Y'all voted them. All of them there voted FNM. All of them with the big mouth and all the big talk. Y'all voted FNM. Y'all need to call y'all FNM candidate and minister with the two card, the blue plate. He ought to be respectfully invited to the meeting. And if Darren refused, then that's another thing. But Darren also, when you invited him, asked him to please invite his sidekick, the waste prime minister in the history of this generation, a one-time prime minister that nobody in this country want to have a photo op with. Maybe y'all that invited Dan Lee Penn to the meeting to speak should have had Dr. Minister there and tried to make him look good by having a photo op with him. Stop inviting people to do your business when we have the same talent here. That is not going to serve us any good. We need somebody that's going to be on the, rock, the ground 24-7. You imagine Darren being gone for 10 months without a meeting in Abaco, in Dundestan, in North Abaco. And y'all missed an opportunity. Y'all bring somebody that want to replace Darren Henfield that also lives in Nassau. Da, like, come on. Use your God sense. A little bit that you do have, use them. How could you get a different result doing the same thing? You want to elect another person that lives in Nassau? Da, come on, y'all intelligent people. Some people just want to be significant, but don't let them 
lead you down a dark path. What happened last night in the meeting in the church is an example of Darren Henfield. You don't need to be blind to see what's going on here. <laughs> I just want to enlighten y'all. But I know the smarter ones of y'all that were in that meeting felt like I did. I spent 10 minutes and I said it's a waste of God, breath, and good time. Hot, humid, and listening to foolishness. They don't have the answers because they don't care. They want to use Abaco to fulfill their own political desire. You are never in the equation. You want to be used again? Go ahead. But Kai is here to give you another choice. That is why I said, vote for Kai. Don't be shy. Kai cares. Kai is here. They haven't lived in Abaco in decades. The choice is yours. The choice is clear. Vote for Kai. Don't be shy. You're here live on WCAY with Kai.